cancer survivors may have won the battle, but stress can remain in the short and long term. Our Alec Lasham takes us to a mindfulness-based stress reduction class at the Champlain Valley Physicians Hospital. A new eight-week program at Champlain Valley Physicians Hospital aims to help cancer survivors deal with their stress in a healthy way. I've done meditation and yoga for years, almost my whole adult life, on and off but I've never stuck with it. Jackie Ortel is one of 12 cancer survivors participating in CVPH's Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Program, or MBSRP. I'm just recently retired and widowed, and so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what am I doing with the rest of my life? And I think it's important to kind of stay focused on the here and now and what's going on now. Instructor of the class Charlotte Gosrick says the program focuses on how participants react when faced with a stressful situation. Not the things that cause stress, but more the things we do when we're processing stress that can make it worse. She says the program teaches standard body scan and walking meditation. Participants are also asked to carry out an exercise they learned from the program at home for at least an hour, six days a week. Gosrick says the program is flexible based on what people are able to physically do. So if someone doesn't want to or cannot lie down flat for the body scan, they can sit in a chair. If someone's having difficulty walking, there's other ways to do the walking meditation. With one class down already, Ortel says she can already notice the difference. I think that that is so important to stop and think about what we're doing instead of this constant, oh, this is what I'm going to do next, and this is what I'm going to do next. So I'm already noticing a difference just from that one class. Gosrick also tells me MBSRP goes back to the 1970s and has proven health benefits for mental and physical health. Anything that can help people to feel better about themselves, help them to feel more confident in handling their emotions. And for Ortel, she says she hopes to keep the lifelong practice. I'm hoping that I will adopt this this um, discipline, this structure, you know, that I will um, continue to do it in a, you know, mindful way on a more regular basis, that I won't let go of it this time. As for future sessions, Gosrick says she hopes to go beyond the eight-week program. In Plattsburgh, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.